This video is about the process of repeated matrix multiplication. So let's just say we have a matrix A that has some uh, quantities in it, 1, 1, 1, 1 1.1, 0.5, and 1, and some matrix that we're going to call B with the subscript of 0. Uh, and that matrix contains the column matrix. It's a column matrix 1, 2. So uh, let's say that the reason we're using the subscript is to indicate that this, is, this matrix contains some information uh, at some point in time t equals 0. So that's our initial time or starting time. So how do we find B20? In other words, how would we figure out uh, what takes place after uh, time e or at time t equals 20? Well, let's further suppose that A contains the quantities necessary to transition uh, B0 to, to B1. So in other words, uh, let's just start with some basic a basic concept here. And let's suppose that we want to find B1. Okay, so B1 is going to be given to us by A times B0. So let's just say that that's the case, that the way we figure out the, these two quantities, what they'll be one year later at time T equals one is by multiplying A times B0. Okay, so if we were to carry out this operation, then we would get 1, 5, or 0 0.5, 0 0.11, 1, multiplied by 1, 2, and that comes out to be uh, matrix 1 times 1.1 1 .1 plus 2 times the column matrix 0 0.51. And that, if we do the arithmetic on it, 1 times 1 plus 2 times 0.5 is 2, and 1 times 0.1 plus 2 times 1 is 2.1. And so now we have information that's given to us at time B1. So we could argue that the two values, whatever those values may be, uh, at time T equals 1 are now 2 and 2.1. So both of them have grown. Obviously, the first component's doubled, and the second component has grown by 0.1. Okay, well, we could obviously repeat this process. We could say that to determine the quantity at time 2, we need to know the quantity at time 1, which is B1. Well, we know that. We know that uh, to obtain this, we the, our matrix that tells us how to transition from one year to the next is this one. And when we multiply that by B1, again, we carry out the operations 1 times 1.1 1 .1 plus 2 times 0.5. Uh, 1, so sorry, I, I put in the wrong numbers, 2 and 2.1. So 2 plus uh, 2 point, let me erase this, plus 2 times point, excuse me, 2.1 times the vector uh, 0.51. Okay, so carrying out our matrix multiplication, 2 times 1 plus uh, 2.1 times a half, well, 2.1 times a half is 1.05, plus 2 is uh, 3.05 and 2 times 0.1 is 0.2 plus 2.1 is 2.3. I hope I've done the arithmetic correctly there, but hopefully we, we can see the idea. So again, we have some growth. In this case, we can see that, again, uh, that the top component has grown by just over uh, 1, 1 1.05 actually, and the bottom component has grown by 0.2. Okay, so B3, we have to carry out the same operation. Now, of course, we could do this with a calculator, but this requires repeatedly taking the new, the old vector, plugging it in for the new one, and same thing here, we had to plug in that one there, and then the result we had to plug in up here, and then now this result, if we wanted to know what B3 is, we would have to take the A matrix times the B2 matrix, which is this guy here, that's the B, this, the states at B2. Well, there's got to be an easier way. And there is. But the trick here is to observe our patterns. And oftentimes in mathematics, we have to make things symbolic in order to see easier ways. So we can't always just compute with numbers, meaning uh, I'm not going to see the pattern if I continue doing this. It's just going to be, I'm going to see that I repeatedly do the same thing. Now, we, we observed here that if we took, to, in order to get B1, I had to multiply A times B0. So let's, let's stand back for a second and look at this line. And then let's look at this line here. Well, how are these two equations related? If I notice that B1 is A times B, 
subscript 0, and B2 is A times B1. Well, wait a minute. There's a connection here. There's a linking factor, and that linking factor is the fact is the is the idea that b1 can be re-expressed in different terms. b1 is equal to this right here. So if b1 is equal to some other quantity, and over here this formula depends on b1, that means I can go, proceed by substitution to try to write the b2 matrix in terms of b subscript 0. Okay, so what I mean here is that if I, in order to get b1, I have to take a times B0. In order to get B2, I have to take A times B1. Okay, well B1 basically is the output of this function, but it's the input into the next function. B3, you guessed it, is A times B2, and that means that the output of the second line, line 2, has to feed into, um, has to feed into line 3. Okay, well that means that if B1 is equal to A times B0, that means I can re-express this quantity here as A times, well, B1 is equal to A times B0. Okay, well, the order, I mean, we can't switch order of multiplication of matrices, but matrix multiplication is associative, which means kind of like when you think back to properties of numbers, 3 plus 5 plus 6 added that way is the same thing as 3 added to the result of 5 plus 6. Similarly, 3 times 5 times 6, if I multiply 3 times 5 and then multiply by 6, that gives me the same answer as 3 times 5 times 6. If I multiply 5 by 6 first and then multiply by 3, I'm going to get the same answer. Well, it turns out that matrices also have that property, so this means that I can rewrite the parentheses around A times A and then multiply that result by B0. Well, when I multiply a quantity by itself, regardless of whether it's, uh, it's, it's matrices or it's, uh, it's something else, I can write that as A squared by definition. Now be careful because A squared does not mean we take all the elements in A and we square them. It means taking a matrix and multiplying it by itself. Okay, so notice what we've done here. We have taken a, an expression and we have substituted it in for b1 and now b2 is a function of b0. Now I know a and I know b0 so that means that all I have to do is in my calculator type in a squared times b0 and I should get the same thing I got in the previous line by repeatedly carrying out multiplication, addition, multiplication, addition. So I should end up with 3.05, 2.3 if I proceed to multiply a times b. So there's my A matrix, there's my B matrix, and I'm going to now take, okay, A squared times matrix B. And look at that, we get 3.05, 2.3. That didn't require me to multiply A times B0, and then take that result, plug it in, multiply A times that to get the next one, and then take A times that to get the next one. I could carry it out. Um, symbolically in one step, a squared times b0. Well, that must mean that b3 can be done in a similar fashion. There must be, or hopefully is, a pattern here. And, okay, well, I also know that b2 is now equal to, b2 is equal to a squared times b0. So that means in place of b2, to get b3, I can take a times b2, which is a squared times b0, and look at that. Now I have a times a squared, which is a cubed times b sub 0. b4 is equal to a times b3, same b3 as I get here, I'll plug in down here, and b3 can be written in terms of the original uh, time equals 0 state, which is a times, well let's see, b3 is a3 times b0, so I get a to the third times b0, which is the same thing as a to the fourth times b0. So, in the situation where we require the previous state to get the next state, and the previous state to get the next state, it, it suffices to, to say that to get some, at some point in time in the future, let's say time n, okay, I'm making that generic because now I can say, well, that's just going to be a to the whatever that power, time power is, right? Because b4 was a to the fourth, b3 was a to the third, b2 was a squared. Uh, so bn should be a to the nth times the original 
matrix. So to answer our question, what is, what's the result at B20? I can take um, A to the, I'm going to, don't need to put that in parentheses, but I'll just say A to the 20th times matrix B, and I get an answer. So I could say that according to these initial states of 1 and 2 for in the B matrix, after 20 time units or 20 time transition increments, I now have the top component 154.85 or 86 and 69.26.